assalamu alaikum viewers hope you are doing well today we are going to discuss about the project that is event management system first of all i would like to introduce myself and my team members in this project i am amna zaheer and my group members are aisha asghar tuba mushtaq lare banza and bushra yusuf so without any wastage of time let's move to the point so let's discuss about this project how it will work event management system basically is the process by which an event is planned and organized manage in this system firstly new user register their self by giving cnic email name contact number after that user can log into the system every time just by entering the email and username after login the customer and user can view the list of event and related information like decor details food details hall details and also select payment method whatever they want in this system you will buy related thing from the vendors and these will be managed by our team admin can check overall system but this is a system is managed by the manager after booking event and related information a user can log out from the system in case of cancellation of any event if the user want to cancel any event then they can easily cancel event but there is there are two condition there if they cancel any event within 3 days after booking then we uh, will refund 50% of payment otherwise and uh, in case uh, the limit exceed from 3 days then we will not refund any amount so this is the description of our project so let's move to the next point these are the functional requirement of our project this is the business to business requirement business to customer and uh, business to government business to employee these are the re functional require requirements of our project this is the templates here is a templates name this templates is for the registration of user here the trigger trigger basically is a function that appear when a user uh, click on a particular use case then description actor primary actor secondary actor and precondition this is the basic flow of particular use case how this is work and uh, after that um, alternative flow of use case and then exception flow post condition of use case and status of the system at the end there is a stakeholder of the system who is the stakeholder of the system there are several templates available in this document it's move to the uml diagram portion of this project first of all the first very important uml diagram is use case diagram use case diagram play a very vital role in any project documentation uml diagram is the primary diagram basically it describe the user interaction with our system it will describe how the user will interact with the system the use case diagram of our project that is event management system uh, you can see here there are many use cases first use case is that registration first of all the new user that is want to um, interact with our system or our um, project first of all they will register themselves by entering the cnic and after that the there is use case of login after the registration process the user will log into the system and after the logging they will they will select any category appear there like uh, select decor details select food details and select hall details by giving these information they will select uh, payment method either they want to pay, uh, give up money online or manually after that there is appear a cancellation cancel booking use case in case of cancellation uh, within 3 days we will refund 50% and in case a uh, 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 time exceed from 3 days then we will not refund any amount after this process a user can log out log out from the system and here are actor you can see manager vendors vendors of for decor vendors for food and new user the manager will overall manage the whole system how the payment method uh, will work how the food details decor details will work all the process managed by the our manager and here is a admin admin will check the overall process of the system so this is the basic uml diagram use case diagram of our event management system i am busha yusuf here i am going to discuss about the sequence diagram of our project that is event management system So, what is sequence diagram? Basically, sequence diagram shows object interactions arranged in time sequence in the field of software engineering. It represents the object involved in scenario and sequence of messages exchanged between objects needed to carry out the functionality of the scenario. So, we will see the sequence diagram of our project. And the first step of our project is registration. For any system, uh, the user will firstly register to the system. For that, user will enter email and CNIC number into the system. If user gave valid information to the system enter valid information then he will successfully enter into the system and uh, the user will view detailed of registration after successfully enter the log into the registration the user will log into the system the user will enter email and cnic number here's actor actor is basically a user of the system so actor will enter and password 
if actor gave valid details, he will successfully enter into the system and logged into the system. Uh, and he can now view the profile of the system. But if there's any uh, unvalid information and uh, wrong uh, message, so the, there is a message uh, that is, uh, shown that is not successfully logged into the system. So the user will re-enter the valid details and again log into the system. The next step is select the decode details. User will select decode details. First of all, user will select basic decode details and successfully selected the basic decode details. After that, if user want to select the advanced decode details, then he will select the advanced decode details and uh, fill the valid information and successfully select the decode details, advanced decode details. The next step is food details. User will select food details. There's a category of food details, basically uh, basic category and advanced category. If user want to select advanced category, he will select the advanced food packages and successfully selected the advanced food packages by fulfilling the uh, right information to the system. And if the user want to select the basic food packages, he will select the basic category and successfully select the category of the food details. After that, there comes the whole detail. Again, if there is a category of all detail that is uh, divided into basic category and advanced category, if user want to select the basic category, he will select the basic hall arrangement and successfully select the basic hall arrangements. But if the user wants to select the luxury arrangement of the hall, then he will select the luxury arrangements and uh, select the hall details that will be luxury. After that, there is payment method. So there is also payment method of two types that is manually payment method and online payment method. If user want to pay manually, then he will select manually payment method and uh, fill the details. And if there is an, any invalid query or uh, statement entered into the system, incorrect uh, uh, detail, incorrect message will be shown and uh, the user will re-enter all the details. After that, he will successfully pay the manually payment. But if user want to pay online, then he will select online payment method and successfully paid online if all the requirements were, are true. But if there is in any case, in case of any incorrect detail, he will re-enter the uh, requirements and again pay the online payment. So now we are discussing about collaboration diagram. Collaboration diagram is also known as the communication diagram. Basically, it represents the communication between the different objects. So first of all, here is the um, collaboration diagram of registration process. Whenever the new user want to register their self in this system, they just give their CNIC and email and name. After that, they will register to the system and these information are stored in the system database. The next diagram for the login system, by entering the email and the username, uh, they will successfully log into the system and these email and the username will go to the system database and store in the system database. Uh, after that, the message will appear. You will successfully log into the system. So the next is the select Decker category, the user will select the Decker category and this information will store into the system database and they will easily select the Decker detail or de what, what kind of Decker they want to choose. After that, there is a food details. User will select the food, any kind of food package they will select. The next collaboration diagram is for the hall details. The user will uh, choose what kind of uh, hall they want to book, either basic hall, Decker or luxurious. Uh, next diagram is for payment method. User will select the payment method. Uh, uh, either you want to pay online or manually. After that, here is the login log out from the system. So uh, over to the next member. Here's the activity diagram. Activity diagram visually presents the or flows of control in a system that is similar to flowchart or a data flow diagram. Basically, activity diagram used in business process modeling and it describes that in use case diagram. So there are different steps of product that we will see stepwise. First of all, we'll see registration of the user. For uh, the first symbol is used for starting point. First of all, the user will uh, register him or herself on the system by adding CNIC and their email and password. After that, he will successfully register on the system and enter user password and name and log into the system. In case of any invalid statement, he will re-enter name and password and again entered into the log system. After that, there is a uh, select decode detail. So the user will select category of decode, either basic or here's the user will select decode detail. Uh, he will select category of detail, uh, decode detail from basic and advanced. It depends on user what type of category he want to select. 
So if, after selecting, you will select decode details. And after that, the user will select food details. There is also a category of food details that is basic food items and advanced food packages. It again depends on the user what type of packages he or she wants. And after selecting that, the user will select the hall details. Again, category of hall details, there are two types of packages, basic arrangement and luxury arrangements. The user will select one arrangement from these and successfully select the hall details. After that, there is a payment method of manually and online. The user will pay manually and online payment according to his or her own will and successfully uh, pay, he will be logged out from the system. And there's uh, if any user want to cancel the booking of a event, he will uh, tell the system about cancellation. And if he wants to cancel booking within three days, so the system will refund 50% to the user. But if the user cancel after three days, so there's no refund to the user and please the user will load out from the system. I would like to introduce myself. I am Aisha Skr. Here in the class diagram for our event management system project. Class diagram is about the structure of the system by showing the system class. So in a project class diagram, the classes that are created are event management, registration, login, Full detail, decor details, payment, event cancellation, and logout. Now, linked by association, and then new and registration class are linked by composition because both classes are necessary for each other. And now, the user and event management system class are linked by composition. Now, the full detail, hard detail, decor management system, event management class, and now payment class and event management class are linked by composition. Now, the diagram that I am going to discuss in the main model. In this model, various classes are created. So in our project, to main model the classes that are created are that are created a new user event system registration login for the code. New user and user class is one to one, and the relationship between registration and login between one to one, and then the relationship between user and event management is many to many, and even the relations between Event management and payment between one to many, and also event management and event cancellations between one to one, and uh, the relationship between event cancellations and logout is one to one. Uh, my name is Larry Dindra, and I will uh, discuss about the component diagram. So, a component diagram breaks down the actual system under development into various high level of functionality. Each component is responsible for a clear aim within the entire system. So in component diagram, various components or smaller components are wired together to form a bigger component. So here we can see in a uh, component, the classes that are related are kept. So uh, in first component, register, registration and login. Uh, when the user will register and login, the data will be stored in the database and the user will be authenticated through the security component. And after the uh, the user will uh, authenticate it from the security component. Uh, the user will select the hall details, decor details, and food details. The data of all this activity will also stored in the database. And as uh, these activities are performed uh, in sequence, so it is connected also to the persistence uh, component. And also this data will be is connected to the security component. And after the after uh, selecting these details, the user will move to the payment method or uh, event translation mode. The detail of both these activities activity, uh, activity will also be stored in the database component. And at the end, when the user will perform all the activities, the uh, user uh, will log out from the system. And then this activity will also be stored in the database. Now uh, we will discuss about the package diagram. So what is package diagram? Package diagrams are used to structure high level system elements. Packages are used for organizing large systems which contain diagrams. So uh, as we can see in a package, the components that are related are kept. And we have specified the package with its name, for example, users, authentication, and even management system. So each uh, package is uh, associated with next package. For example, user package is associated with authentication. And then uh, authentication package is associated with the uh, event management. I am Tuba Mishtaq. Uh, now I will discuss uh, the deployment diagram of event management system. Actually, a deployment diagram shows the relationship between software component and hardware components of the system. It has two types. First of all, uh, the first part contains the packages and the second part contains the machines in which there are servers and clients. The packages uh, in packages part, uh, we will combine the packages in a single component and associate these components with the server. The relationship between these uh, package component 
and the server is one to many. The data will be stored on the server and the users, like client machines, for example, they will access uh, this online management system from the browser. Here is the glossary of our event management system in which we describe uh, the critical uh, terms of our event management system project. Thank you so much for watching this video. This document is uploaded on Google Drive and the link of this document is in the description. And if you have any queries, you can comment and you, there is our email address provided in the description, you can email us. And if this video is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.